we are talking about parallelograms and we want to recognize and apply the properties of the sides and angles of parallelograms. And we want to recognize and apply the properties of the diagonals of a parallelogram. So first we want to start out with the definition of a quadrilateral. And a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. So here are some quadrilaterals, specifically three of these are parallelograms. So we have uh, this first example is a rectangle, but it, a rectangle is a parallelogram. Here we have a more conventional parallelogram where it is tilted. This is a trapezoid, not a parallelogram. Two sides are parallel, but the opposite or the, the sides of the trapezoid are not. Here we have a diamond where no sides are parallel. And here we have another rectangle, which also is a parallelogram. Just a more specific type of parallelogram. So what does it mean to be a parallelogram? It says both pairs of opposite sides, both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. So we have this parallelogram right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these marks to it. So if we put two marks, two congruent marks on the right side, we have to put two congruent marks on the left side. And then both pairs of opposite sides. So this side has three. And this side has three. So this one we're talking about sides. Next one has both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Both pair of opposite sides are parallel. So the way that we mark parallel is we do that with arrows. So we can put uh, let's put two arrows on the top, the side opposite. So we'll put two arrows on the side opposite, and that is the sign for parallel. And then we can put just one side, one um, triangle on the right, and one triangle on the left. And this one we're talking about uh, parallel. Next. We have each pair of opposite angles are congruent. Each pair of opposite angles are congruent. So what that means is uh, if we mark this angle with two, we mark this angle with two, uh, and then we mark this angle with one, and we mark this angle with one. So this would be angles. And although this is rectangle, so all those angles are congruent. Uh, in this case, we're talking about the uh, both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. Each pair of consecutive angles are supplementary. Each pair of consecutive angles are supplementary. So if we said that this was angle two and this was angle one and this was angle three and this was angle four. So for this example, we could say the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to 180 degrees. We could also say the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle four is equal to 180 degrees. So that was, that's what we mean by supplementary right there.
two angles add together, two consecutive angles add together, add to 180 degrees. And then the next one says diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals bisect each other. So if we draw the diagonals, so the diagonals are the lines that connect the opposite vertices of the parallelogram. So if we draw those diagonals in there, and then it says diagonals bisect. So this diagonal right here bisects the other one or cuts it in half. So it makes two congruent parts. And this angle that I, this uh, diagonal that I just marked cuts the other diagonal in half. All right. So this one is talking about diagonals bisect. All right, some things that parallelograms uh, do not have. Diagonals are not congruent. So right here, we can see that uh, we have like a short diagonal and we have a longer diagonal. And angles are not bisected. So uh, these angles right here, this portion of the angle is not the same size as this portion of the angle. So that angle is not bisected. So I want to make sure we underline the not portion. So those are the things that parallelograms have, and those are the things that parallelograms, parallelograms do not.